In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the expected mean square for a mixed factor where one factor is random and nested. A typical scenario of this type of design is the split plot design, a nested design, nested nested design and uh, repeated measure design have a similar situation. So um, the factor nested typically they also random too. And then two fixed factors. Uh, let's see that. Rule number zero is to write down all the uh, effects on column one and then write down the variances on column two and then subscripts of the effects in column three and then column four factor A and then column five factor B factor C and then the replication. Also, you have to indicate the type of factor. If it's a fixed factor, write F or if it's a random factor, type uh, R and then replication is always random. And then there are levels. So A is the level of factor uh, capital A. Similar to uh, small a is the uh, level of uh, capital B and so on. And also there are subscripts I, J, K, L. Now same rule. Rule number one is if this row contains the column subscript, for example, uh, does not contain the column subscript. For example, this J does not contain A, it does contain I, so we write A here. And then J does not contain K, type C here, does not contain L. Uh, similarly, here we have J, I, J, um, which does not contain K and L, so type C and then here. Let's go to the next one. Next rule is for the dead subscript. If the subscript is nested or dead, then we type 1. Uh, if it matches, for example, this J is nested or dead, matches with J, so we type 1 here. Then I have same here, J is dead or nested uh, in K, so we type 1 here. Similarly, I have I, J, K. So the L replication is nested in treatment combination. I, J, K is dead subscript. If it matches with I, I should say if this contains the column. That way is the better way. So it contains I, it contains J, it contains K. So we're going to do 1, 1, 1 there. Next rule is if the fixed factor matches or if the row contains the column, then you type 0, 0. 0 here, so ij contain i, 0, ij contain j, 0 for that. If it's a random factor, then c was a random factor, so that matches right here. So k, this row contains the column uh, k, so here I type 1. And then uh, this one, if just one uh, factor is random then the entire treatment combination is random for example only c is random then a c is random as well so because it's a random factor and it matches with i j k i have all of that so that's one 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 well there is another reason that this one because it's a dead subscript also this one replication l matches with l or this this contains l column L so that's why one now next one is the uh, multiply um, these rows to find the variance components so for example if we want to find the BC we have to mask this VC basically delete that BC so that take that out from the multiplication formula so you're gonna delete that then we'll multiply this times this times this, which is 0. This times this times this, which is not 0. I see there is a typo here. So this is going to be a n summation of beta j square divided by b minus 1. And then this one is good. So sigma square c times n times a. We got that. This one zero because of the zero. This one sigma square AC times one times n. So that's n sigma square AC. This one is sigma square. Next one is to 
to find that BC expected mean square what we have to do is so expected mean square for BC EMS EMS for BC is equal to add all of these that contains both B and C not just the B for example this one contains B but doesn't contain C this one contains C doesn't contain B so they don't come into the equation so what comes in the equation is this two so this two contains both uh, B whether it's in dead or nested or not it contains so it contains both a b this contains both a b for expected uh, sorry uh, b c so expected mean square for b c would be sigma square plus n sigma square a c so we have wrote that right here so i think this one we're trying to find out the expected mean square for c um, so it's just calculated for C, but you you got, uh, let me go back and check which one. So this and B and C, that's okay, no problem. So um, if you find all of these similarly, then um, you get uh, this piece. Now, this looks like a little bit off. A little bit cut here but that's okay there is nothing much there it's only in parentheses the B because uh, um, this um, C is nested in B um, also I think I copied this rule from somewhere so actually this C is uh, nested in B also random C is also random let me go back to the earlier slides, see if I see any typo stuff somewhere. No, I think that's it. Yeah, so that's it about the expected mean square for uh, um, the um, three factors, uh, one random and nested together. So, so one factor is nested, also it's a random factor, and then two fixed factor.